In today's video, I want to go over some details revealed about Amazon's Black Friday plans, and I also want to go over some of my personal experiences using Amazon for Black Friday, because that is one of the spots to use. Obviously, it's a lot easier than getting damn near killed at Walmart. You can stay in the comfort of your own home, enjoy your Thanksgiving dinner, and buy some stuff on Amazon right from your phone. A little bit difficult at times, because a lot of people are trying to do that, but usually, if you're on the ball... You can get whatever you really need to, and I do want to highlight my past experiences with uh, Amazon as well over the years, because they have been generally pretty pleasant to deal with. And before we get into everything, I just want to remind you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so you're always notified of uploads, and that definitely helps out the channel too, so we always appreciate that. But first up, Amazon did a press release yesterday saying Amazon Black Friday Deals Week is almost here. More deals of the day and deeper discounts than ever before on buzzworthy holiday gifts across every department. I want to go over this quickly. It's a lot to go over. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you guys are interested yourself. They already posted some deals and I'll go over some of those. And they noted whether customers are getting a head start on their gift list, readying their homes for family festivities, or grocery shopping for holiday feasts. Amazon makes the holidays easier than ever before with top deals and low prices. In fact, according to a recent study, Amazon prices were found to be 20% cheaper on average than other online retailers. Honestly, from a video game standpoint, which is what we mainly look at, they usually compare with the lowest given price of any retailer, and I'll explain that in a little bit. They already list some deals if you guys want Amazon devices, Echo Dot, Echo Show 5, Echo Input, Fire TV Stick 4K, Kindle, all that stuff is going to be on sale. Amazon Brands Discount, Fashion Discounts, Electronics Discount, including saving on Samsung, Sony, and LG TVs, Galaxy S10, Note 10. Discounts on Nintendo Switch console with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I imagine that's going to be the same deal that's available on retail. I doubt they're going to knock it down from the 300 price point. Uh, you'll be able to save on Xbox One, PC, gaming laptops, desktop, monitors, components, and accessories. So for you PC guys, that's going to be rather exciting. Save up to 33% on PlayStation 4 Slim 1 terabyte bundles. We already know what that is. That's the bundle with God of War, Last of Us, as well as Horizon Complete. Save on Oculus Rift and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to go too in deep on. I do want to go over some interesting things that I think are going to go a little bit under the radar, but I do want to make sure you guys know. For those of you guys that want to dig into Audible and books, between November 25th and 27th, new members receive a bonus $15 Amazon credit and continue to save 53% on the first three months of an Audible membership at $6.95 a month. Additional offers to be announced through the holiday season. Okay, so that's Audible. I don't want to shill for that forever. Okay, as far as Amazon gift cards go, get a $10 bonus when you reload your Amazon gift card balance with $100 or more applicable on first reload only. So if you're looking to do a lot of shopping on Amazon, you definitely want to take advantage of that because it's literally free money that you're getting and you might as well get that additional $10 so you can turn around and spend it on more of the great deals. Amazon Cash, get a one-time $5 Amazon credit when you add $20 limited to first-time Amazon Cash customers. And then you can also save 20% on select gift card brands including App Store, and iTunes, Applebee's, and much more. So there's that as well. If you want Whole Foods Market, Amazon and Whole Foods Market are offering special savings on organic and classic turkeys in celebration of Thanksgiving and a bunch of other stuff that I'm not going to get into right now. Again, I'll leave a link for the full rundown in the description box below. As far as video games, again, Amazon is a great spot. I would highly recommend that you guys are an Amazon Prime subscriber. I imagine a lot of you guys are or you have a family member that's a Prime subscriber. Use their account or whatever the case may be. Sign up for the trial, whatever you need to do. Get Amazon Prime. And how Amazon typically works is there are a lot of Prime specific deals. There are a lot of deals that are like flash deals. But if you're on the ball, usually as far as the games go, at some point in time, they will be the cheapest that they are available at any retailer. So let's look at a game like Devil May Cry 5. A lot of retailers are going to be selling that game at $20. Best Buy specifically, I believe, is going to have it for $15. At some point, and this has usually been the case in the past, Amazon will probably have that game for $15. Any other deal that is, say, cheaper at one retailer versus the other, at some point, chances are Amazon will have it for that baseline cheap price. Now, that's not necessarily always going to be the case, but I would say 80-85% of the time, that generally does work. And when they open the gates and upload the deals on Amazon and update them, a lot of the deals are available right away. However, there are times where a game might be discounted to $40, and then it'll appear as a flash sale later on, where it'll be $25 to $30. So you do 
do have to be a little bit selective. Observe all the deals, see what the deals are at, uh, say, a retailer like Best Buy, and if Amazon is selling a game for more expensive than what Best Buy, for example, is offering, chances are at some point Amazon is going to dock that price back down. Usually how it's going to work, though, is Amazon is going to have it for that price for a limited duration. That's just generally how things have worked in the past. And as far as stock goes, yeah, it's definitely limited stock, especially if it's one of those flash deals and it's for a marquee item. Like, let's say Resident Evil 2 for $15. I think that's going to go really, really quick just because a lot of people are going to want that game at $15. I don't think that's going to be in stock very long. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe they'll have a lot. Who knows? Generally speaking, those do go really quickly. And who knows? We might see a surprise deal here or there. So far from all of the ads I've seen, none of the ads have mentioned Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Amazon might just swoop in and have a $45 deal for that game. We'll see about that. But Amazon, again, if you want to relieve yourself of the majority of headaches of actually going there, you're going to have that headache of actually fighting other people online and getting the game that way. But at least you're not risking your mental sanity. And you don't have to go through the traffic or anything like that. Amazon does simplify a lot of those things. And it's generally pretty easy uh, to get what you want. I remember a couple years ago, uh, I got everything that I wanted out of Black Friday video game wise relatively easily. And I mean, I was on my phone uh, pretty consistently, you know, checking on updates, checking on deals every couple of hours or so. But it's a lot better at the comfort of my own home, watching TV and just looking at deals on Amazon rather than fighting everyone at Walmart or Best Buy. That's just my point of view some people honestly they get off to the idea of fighting other people and seeing the crowds and crowds of people that's kind of the appeal of black friday and things like amazon has kind of diminished the appeal of that but there are still so many people going to these brick and mortar stores during black friday i think part of it is just because of the idea and the authenticity of black friday it's about going to the stores themselves if you don't care about that and you just want to get good deals with some peace of mind then yeah going on amazon and buying a lot of these games that does work out right rather well. I do want to know that generally speaking, Amazon is great for everything outside of video games as well. I know we have generally been covering uh, video game deals, but if you are looking for things like new laptops, a gaming computer, or a computer in general, they are usually really good. I know that they specifically list like gaming components and PC components. From my experience looking at PC-centric stuff on Amazon, a lot of the best deals are on things like pre-built computers, monitors, and things like that. A lot of that stuff is applicable to uh, console console gamers as well. I know a lot of you guys are moving on to the wave of using a monitor to do gaming as well with a console. If you want a monitor, obviously good spot to go. Television, getting a television directly off Amazon instead of hauling it in store. God, I cannot explain to you guys how much of a peace of mind that is. I've been to the store and bought a television on Black Friday. I've also ordered one online from Amazon on Black Friday. You can guess which one was a lot easier and which one was a lot less of a headache. Obviously, it was ordering it from Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you're getting it shipped to you relatively quickly. You're not going to have to wait all too long. And honestly, the thing with Amazon, it gets a little bit easier because when you go to the store, you look at the game, you have it in your hand, maybe you'll put it down for a second. On Amazon, you can turn on one-click buying and honestly, that becomes a little bit of a drug because you just see all these deals and you just click buy, 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 buy. And yeah, be a little bit careful with that because that can get a little bit addicting when you just see a great deal and you're like, oh my God, it's gonna go out of stock in like five minutes, buy. Oh my God, another great deal, buy. Oh my God, there's another great deal, buy again. And maybe you didn't even have that much interest in the game where sometimes if you're in the store cooler heads do prevail as you have the game in your hand for a while you're waiting on the checkout line and you're like do i really need this game right now my backlog is so huge so just a couple of words of advice there but yeah amazon is going to be a great spot to do all your shopping again if you don't want the headaches that are typically associated with black friday i'm not saying it's completely easy but it's a lot easier than fighting through the waves of people and that's going to conclude this video again check out the link down below in the description box they have a great rundown of what amazon is going to be offering it's not everything, but a lot of the good stuff has been listed as far as things outside of video games. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.